What's up guys, before we get started, I just wanted to direct your attention to the subscribe button down below. Hit that button, ring the bell, you don't want to miss my totally whack upload schedule. Not that I really have a schedule, I'm more of a free spirit. I go where the wind takes me. And right now it's taking me to my workshop to answer the age old question. Can you build armor out of purses? This is probably the most masculine thing you can do with purses. I get all mine from the thrift store. Are they cheap? Yes. Is the leather real? No. Will the material still protect you? Probably. The next step is to create a template. The way I do that is I take clear wrap and I wrap it around whatever body part. Then I take duct tape and I put that over the clear wrap. And then I take a sharpie and I trace out whatever needs to be traced out. And then I cut that out and I transfer it over to cardstock. Golly, what a mouthful. Now that we have our template, it's time to refine the material. Something I just realized, if you're going to be doing this, make sure you get all this fake whatever this is off, because when you're going to be gluing these together, you don't want to have two of these stuck together and then like the actual material start peeling off. Also hold on to these rings and these uh, handle straps because these are going to come in handy later. That's actually really disappointing, it looks like half the thickness of the material is this weird plastic stuff. Yep, that's a bummer. The next step in this is to glue everything together. You're going to want at least a minimum of two material. Like that's the only way this is going to be able to work. So this is one, this is two, I'm actually going to be using three. Also, very crucial, make sure that your template fits onto the material before you cut it out. I'm actually deciding to only go with two layers, so it's going to have bottom layer, this in the middle, and then the top layer, but I'm really concerned about how it's going to like glue up. Also, I forgot how much I hate working with contact cement. Now I'm going to take my template and I'm going to lay it onto the material, trace that out, and cut it. Now we got to mark out and drill out the holes. I would actually recommend burning the holes in instead of drilling them out. The drill bit could get caught on the material and tear it all up.
measure the length of the strap that you need. I was doing some messing around with the measurements and I realized that these rings over here are too small for what I have to use them for. So I got some of these. It feels like I'm cheating, I ain't gonna lie, because I really wanted to use the rings off the purse, kind of like, hey, you can get everything you need from the purse. Well, I mean, almost everything. This is how the straps are gonna work. You're gonna take two rings and you're gonna take some of the strapping right here. You're gonna feed them through. Then you're going to close this off right here. So now you got two rings. Then what you do is you take your other strap, feed that through, take it and pull it the other way around. And now you have what's called a tension strap. That isn't going anywhere. All right guys, time for the final assembly. Let me show you how to do it. Got the best armor in these parts. There you have it guys, armor made out of purses. It definitely has a post-apocalyptic aesthetic. I mean, I think the thing fits, I just built some armor out of purses. Now I know it looks very plain, but the thing is, is this is basically a giant canvas. You could add studs onto this, you could add spikes, you could add metal plates going across. The sky's the limit with your purse armor. Wow, I can feel my testosterone levels rising already. If I was to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate it a starting gear in an RPG. This is some bare bones, basic armor. Don't expect it to stop bullets or allow you to pull a sword from the stone. But it is fairly simple to throw together in a pinch. Also something to note, I know that leather working is very expensive. The leather is expensive, the tools are. But this is, even though it's not real leather, you can still practice on this because in a sense, it's the same thing. It's called fox leather or fake leather. Fox leather is like F-A-U-X. I don't know how to spell very well, but basically it just means fake leather. But here's a good source, like three to five dollars a purse. Are you kidding me? That's a steal. Also not to mention if you're in the apocalypse and you don't have a lot of material to work with, you could, if there's still stores around, you could jump in, grab some material, jump out, go throw something together, kind of like this, and you can be protected. This video was made because I like controversial things. It was also made to inspire people, get your brain thinking, like, ah, I like making armor, but I want to mix it up, or I want to get into it, or I just want new ideas. Like, anything can be made into armor, anything, literally anything. I can take this once it's empty, even though it's very thin steel, I can cut the rings off of it and I could flatten it out. And even though it's very thin, armor is armor. And I can like flatten it out into a plate, slap it on my body and be protected from a bug or something. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully you get the idea I'm trying to convey. Well, it's been fun. It's been a time, but I gotta skedaddle. My name's Apocalypse Spyro. I love you guys, but most importantly, God loves you and Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.
They're, they're like bees that get into my shed. I don't even know how they get into my shed. There's no, there's no hives around here. There's no, there he is, there he is. Look at this dumb bee. Can you see him? Hey, stupid. What you got, a flower to go pollinate? Get out of here, skedaddle. I don't, I don't think he's firing on all cylinders. Felt that, buddy. I've been there. 